Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm super excited because I'm sharing with you a secret ingredient that is completely going to change your baking game. I am not revealing it just yet because it's so exciting. I want you to guess first what this might be. And um, I want you to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how we are going to be making these beautiful baked goods in the coming weeks. And this secret ingredient is going to play a vital role. So let's get started. First, you're going to preheat your oven to 140 degrees Celsius. Line your baking tray with parchment paper. And now, drum roll, it's time for this secret ingredient. And that is milk powder. That's right, you guys. You heard it right. We are going to make some toasted milk powder. So I was just sitting and wondering one day. I had this bag of milk powder in the kitchen. And I was making brown butter the other day. And I just thought to myself, hmm... I wonder what it would be like if I browned some milk powder and that's how this toasted milk powder actually came into existence. So you're just going to take some milk powder, you're going to spread it evenly on a baking tray. This is uh, 200 grams, the pack that you get from stores. Um, the details are down in the description box below. Just spread it out and now you're going to pop this in the oven first for about 7 minutes. This will go in the oven. This is Seven minutes later, you'll see it's slightly toasted, but it's not there yet. We still want it to get that beautiful golden brown color. So you're just going to take your spatula and mix it around so that, um, you know, all the edges that were a little more browned sort of mix evenly throughout. And once you've done that, you're going to spread it again evenly throughout the baking paper, the baking tray, so that they bake evenly. And then you're going to pop it back in the oven for another seven minutes. Now, uh, every oven is different. So I would recommend that at the end of five minutes, just keep an eye out. And if it gets too brown, then you can just turn the oven off and take it out. But I think seven minutes more is perfect. So you would be baking or toasting it rather for a total of 14 minutes. And after 14 minutes, this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's toasty. It's golden. And... I gave it a taste and you guys, I kid you not, it tastes like parleji. I'm not even kidding. I'm so excited to use this in a ton of baking uh, products, but you have to store this correctly as well. Uh, you're going to let it cool down to room temperature first and then you're going to take an airtight container and pop this into this jar and you're going to refrigerate it. Now, this can be used just like how your normal milk powder would be used for. Um, ideally like a month to month and a half and keep it refrigerated. This toasted milk powder can elevate your baking game to the next level. Cakes, brownies, cookies, breads, we're going to make it all. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you exactly how all of this can be made um, even better, even tastier with this toasted milk powder. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified because next week I'm showing you these brownies and then in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be making this Japanese milk bread and a ton of other recipes with this. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and happy baking.